On today's episode, we head to Chiloquin, Oregon, and visit the world-famous Train Mountain. So we are here at Train Mountain, and it's a membership-based uh, train enthusiast park. And just outside of Chiloquin, south of Crater Lake, and that is John Caldwell. He is setting up his Pinion and Jackrabbit train. Uh, the train was named Pinion for the area in New Mexico in Arizona that's full of pinion pines and jackrabbits because they had so many jackrabbits. The other thing is all of the numbers are for the children and family members. So 1971 represents uh, one of the children and 1967 represents uh, Jonna who helped us arrange this, John Stodder. It's a beautiful train and John's getting upset because he's going to take us on a ride. And look at the detail in this caboose. It's beautiful. but. There are a number of trains in this park. This one is a beauty too. It's a Union Pacific train. And it's all miniaturized. And over there is a steam, an actual steam, operating steam engine. So these are electric, including this one here, which is Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Road, which is still in operation today. So we are here with John Caldwell, and he's the owner of the Pinion and Jackrabbit. He's going to tell us a little bit about how it works. Yeah. Uh, I've got two engines here. Uh, both of them, well, all, all this equipment I built myself in my own shop. The wheels, a lot of the running gear has come from suppliers. Uh, so anyway, they both run on 24 volt systems. That engine has four six volts in it, which gives me a lot of running time. And a two twelve uh, running system. Plug in the both engines. I also, uh, also have a sound system that's very similar to what uh, HO or or uh, old scale model railroading uses. The same company. Uh, that builds their sound system. Anyway, this has a pair of speakers in it, and uh, which gives you the sound of a, a real locomotive with all the sounds and the noise and whistles and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is seven and a half inch gauge. <coughs> the locomotives, and my train is two and a half inch scale, which is uh, considered narrow gauge for this. Uh, gauge of track. Now the other locomotives are some parked here that they're one and a half inch scale and considered standard gauge equipment. So anyway, we're going to go out and make a run on the on the rail here, train mount. Now we were lucky enough to get a private tour and a ride with John. But if you're interested, the Klamath and Western Railroad does offer rides to the public on Saturdays between Memorial Day and Labor Day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So this is the largest park in the United States. We are now entering the 37 miles of track at a speed of about six miles an hour. This whole railroad is considered a uh, single track of one direction. It's not bi-directional. And only up here around the uh, yards and, and the central station here you have the, the signals to go out on. So that what we do here is pick our route as to what subdivision we want to go to. So 
I'm going to get a different signal. I'm going to go down to what they call the Panama Canal. <laughs> and that will change here a minute and give us, give us the right route. John taught us, and what we learned from the website, is that Train Mountain was founded by a gentleman named Quentin Green around 1987. He put together the property, and before he passed away in 2008, he had actually laid over 25 miles worth of track. In 2009, after his passing though, the IRS recorded about $14 million in liens against the property. So several people got involved, various lawsuits were filed, and eventually, in November of 2012, the Friends of Train Mountain became custodians of Train Mountain. Now, eventually, the property became known as the Train Mountain Institute. And in May of 2013, the IRS completely discharged all of the liens, and the Institute was then able to start accepting tax deductible donations as a 501c3. The Friends of Train Mountain continued to build new track develop these incredible miniaturized cities, and most importantly, maintain over 36 miles of 7.5 gauge track that sit on over 2,200 acres of beautiful pine forest. So if you want to learn more, check out their website by clicking on the link below. Also, if you want to continue following Forever Honeymoon's ongoing adventure, make sure you subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button just below this video. We'd also appreciate one of those great likes and sharing the video with your friends. We want to say thank you to John and everyone at Train Mountain for giving us this incredible experience. It's up to your creativity. Yeah.